So a lot of people, the, the biggest question I get about ARs when people are asking me questions about ARs is whether or not they should get a chrome line barrel. Or they don't understand why it costs on average $50 more to get an AR with a chrome line barrel than a non chrome line barrel, just plain chrome alloy steel. And they don't really know what the chrome lining is. Well, <clears throat> tonight I'm going to fix that problem. When we're talking about chrome line barrels, we're talking about industrial chrome, not cosmetic, okay? Now, a good example of cosmetic chroming is this. And what this is, this is, this is chrome. This is chrome plated over a polish like a nickel plating, okay, which is then which is done over the steel that this this breaker bar is made out of. Industrial chrome, okay, or hard chroming is more of a kind of a gunmetal gray color, okay? Maybe a, a shade or two lighter than this. The, what it is, it's used in a lot of industrial, obviously, because of the name, industrial applications, uh, you know, big machines. Um, and it's used an awful lot in ARs, okay? It's also used by some 1911 builders specifically. There's a local guy here in town who, who uses it a lot. And the reason for that is, is the finish is almost indestructible, okay? I mean, there's not much you can do to hurt it. And it is... Uh, it's 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 not self lubricating. However, it doesn't require a lot of lubrication to maintain its lubricity. Okay? <laughs> Those are some big words, I know, but you guys I, I got smart people in my audience, so the long and short of it is this. No Rusty, not you. Uh, the long and short of it is this. It depends on what you're gonna use the rifle for, okay? Um, if you are a cop and you're buying an AR for a patrol rifle, if your agency allows you to use your own equipment like that, okay, and you're buying an AR for a patrol rifle, um, then you should totally get a chrome line barrel. If you are, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, a bench rest shooter who happens to use the AR platform, you probably don't want a chrome line barrel. There's pros and cons, okay? The pros to having a chrome line barrel is it's the service life of the barrel is extraordinarily long, okay? The barrel will outlive most people, okay? You will never shoot that barrel out. The It's very forgiving of, how can I say this? Maybe certain amounts of lackadaisical maintenance. Okay, if, you, if you're not one of these people who cleans your gun after every rain strip, then a chrome line barrel is for you, okay? Because the corrosion resistance is, is literally, it's, it's off the charts. Um, now, if you're going for pinpoint accuracy, then a chrome line barrel isn't for you. And here's why. Whenever you work on metal, no matter what you're doing, whenever you're cutting into or scoring metal, you're going to leave burrs. Now, sometimes these burrs are going to be microscopic, like on an order of microns, okay? But they're going to be there. It's just, that's what happens when you work with metal. When a chromoly barrel, after the, the rifling tool has gone through and cut the rifling out, okay, there's going to be little burrs, okay? Now, when you add the chrome lining on top of that after it's lined, it's like that old fable about the princess and the pea, okay? You know, the princess, she, she can't get it, this, the, the mattress just isn't comfortable, and the servants keep stacking more mattresses on top, and the, whatever it is that's bothering her just keeps getting worse and worse and worse, and it turns out that under the very bottom mattress was a pea, and it's just like that, okay? So you've got a little, a minor imperfection, and it might only be a micron high, but it's a minor imperfection, a very small burr, but when you add the chrome lining on top of it, that imperfection is magnified, and it's going to score the jacket on the bullet. It's going to affect the flight of the bullet. It's going to affect the spin. It's going to affect everything. So it's going to be less accurate than a non-lined barrel, whether that barrel is stainless steel or, um, or, cro or, or chromoly steel, okay? Now, what does this mean for you? Not much. It really doesn't. It's one of those things that the average shooter 
is never, ever, ever going to notice. The difference in accuracy is going to be so small that your average range toy AR that you're shooting 100 yards with, okay, and blowing up tannerite or pumpkins or, or whatever, okay, you're never going to notice it. You're never going to notice a difference. But if you're going for accuracy, okay, if you're building, say, a varmint gun, okay and a lot of varmint guns are built on AR platforms these days uh, then you either need to stick with a chrome ollie barrel or a stainless steel barrel and personally I'd go with stainless okay um, but that's just me so it, it depends just like anything else it depends on the intended use of the gun if if it's a patrol rifle or a range toy or some other sort of combat oriented firearm okay chrome ollie is the way to go when it costs an average of $50 more per rifle, you're already spending hundreds, possibly over $1,000 on an AR. Okay, 50 bucks, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much. And you should definitely look at getting a chrome line barrel if the manufacturer you're buying it from offers it. Now understand that most of these manufacturers, guys, most of these manufacturers don't make their own barrels. Okay, there's a small handful of these AR manufacturers out there that are actually making their own barrels, but by and large, the vast majority of them are buying barrel blanks and buying barrels from barrel makers. And if you think about it, that's good. Because I don't want my barrel coming from, you know, Billy Bob and Joe's AR builders, okay? I want my barrel coming from a company that does nothing but make barrels, okay? So, if it's a patrol rifle, a combat rifle, whatever, okay, and maybe you're not going to be able to... To, to, to keep it you know as clean as you'd like to or maybe you're just lazy then chrome lining is the way to go the difference in price isn't that much if you're looking for an accuracy rig go with stainless steel and if it's you know anything else chrome molly and make sure you break in the barrel because what will happen is, is by breaking in the barrel you will naturally get rid of those burrs by shooting the barrel okay by shooting by shooting the gun you will naturally get rid of the, some of those burrs they'll, they'll, they'll kind of wear out on their own but those burrs will never go away when we're talking about chrome lining okay it's always going to be there now again the gun's going to outlive you that barrel's going to outlive you you'll never shoot it out and the difference in accuracy is so small as to be really it doesn't matter chrome lining is the way to go in my opinion now a couple of things i've got something really cool coming up that involves a friend of mine from texas and that's the only spoiler you're going to get on that but it's going to be pretty awesome and what else? Oh, Facebook. Yeah, I got a Facebook page now. And the link to it is going to be down in the description of the video. And I will totally add you if you send me an ad request, okay? Totally. I will absolutely add you because I'm awesome like that. So send me an ad request on Facebook and I will totally add you. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to promise to talk to you or anything, but I will totally add you on Facebook. You can pad your Facebook friends list. Um, Facebook is the devil, by the way. It's 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 been proven. It's scientifically proven that Facebook is the antichrist. But I have a Facebook page now. Also, take a look at my GoFundMe page for my ammo for everyone for my ammo for everyone campaign, and send me some money if you can afford it, so I can start making ammo and selling ammo and having an awesome time doing it and all that other stuff. And the link for that is going to be down in the description as well. Other than that, Rich from GunTorchTest.com, happy Halloween.